Welcome to Life Photo TV. In today's episode, we'll be creating a memory book. What a great way to take all your pictures from last year and put them together in a book for all to see. To start, we're going to go to View Entire Catalog and select Memory Books. On this page, you can select from Photo Books, Coffee Table Books, Guest Registries, and Journals. We're going to go to Photo Books and select. On this page, it's going to give you a little more information about the photo books. Now you can hit design your own, or you can come down here, and where it says sizes and prices for photo books, you're going to notice each of the sizes will be listed below. You also get the price of the cover book and the photo cover book, and also the additional price for an extra page. But we're going to go over here, and I want to size 8 by 8 and I want to select a photo cover book. So we're going to select and it'll take us right to our book. Alright, on this page you get to select what kind of design you want. You can be creative or you can pick from Halloween. Let's do autumn. I kind of like autumn. This is another reason I want to choose it because it has the old-fashioned paper. Alright, that's what I want and I'm going to hit next. On this page, we get to select what photo folder we want. Now, I have a bunch of folder folders, and you might at this point have a lot of folders too, but the one I just added was end of the year, so I'm going to select that. Then we're going to go over to photo placement. Now, you can have Life Photo place your photos for you, or you can say, let me place my photos. And in this case, I want to place my own photos, so I'm going to select. And then it'll say how many images you have in your photo folder. And this will automatically produce 20 pages. Or you can add more pages. And then you can also tell it how many photos you want per page. But since we're going to put the photos in ourselves, we're going to just hit next. All right, now it's time to select our cover. And as you know, we don't have any covers on it yet. So we're going to select the orange icon to edit. Before we add our photos, we're going to go into templates and they have a full bleed, which will just be a picture. They have the hard cover, which you'll notice that it will have a picture. Just to remind everyone, the blue indicates a photo. The gray indicates where there's going to be text. We're going to go to hard cover large and you can select any of these two. But if you're doing the hardcover large, just make sure to pause the tutorial so that you can add in your own photos. All right, now we're going to go to background. And I want to change the background from what it is to something different. Let's try the butterfly. Oh, that's kind of interesting. And I'm going to go to photo folders. And this is where we get to select our own photos. Let's do this one. All right, and now it's time to add our font. And I'm gonna put 2011 fun, and I'm gonna select 36 for our font. And let's change our font to something else. And we're gonna check, I'm not sure how this color will look, but let's try it out. Select done editing. That's hard to read, so we're gonna select a different color. And I think I'll go with white and say done editing. Oh, much better. We can actually see it now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to page one. So if you scroll up, or if you go up to where it says cover, you'll notice it'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. We're going to select number one to go to page one. And on this page, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go to templates. And then I want you to have fun, scroll through these, and see which ones you like the best. We're going to go, I think I'll go with this one right here. Actually, let's do it right here. All right. And what we get to do is we get to skip the background because we already placed our background. And we're going to go to our photo folders and add more photos. All right. And then we're going to click to edit. And you can make your image smaller or bigger. Make it a little bigger and drag it upward and select done editing. Now we're going to drag another photo. 
and make it a little bigger and drag her up and select done editing. Now that we're done with our photos, you're going to notice that it says click to add text. Well, if you don't want to have text under your photos, you don't have to. If you leave them blank, they're just going to leave nothing there. So what we're going to do is go to page two and leave those blank. And what you can do to go to page two, you can go and click number two, but you can also select next. So we're going to select next, which brings us to page two. So we're going to go to templates and choose something you like. And now we go to our photos. And then you can also add font and select done editing. If that looks too small, you can select it again and make the font a little bigger. Make it bigger and select done editing. All right, now we're going to move on to page three and select. All right, now we're going to go to templates again and select. And on this one, I want to add three photos. So what I'm going to do is select the landscape TL. And then I'm going to go into my photos and drag them. All right, and now I'm going to add some text and make the font bigger and say done editing. After you're done with all your pages though, we're going to go to done editing and select. Now that you're done with your book, you may notice that I've added a few more photos to finish my book off. But on this page, I just want to let you know that you can share your memory book, you can buy your memory book, you can play your memory book, you can save your memory book, you can edit your memory book, you can add a page, and you can also move pages. Thanks for joining us for another Life Photo episode.